So my bow, today we're going to learn about fractions. So what is a fraction? A fraction is something that shows part of a whole. For example, Alison is having pizza for tea and her friend Beck is coming over. Alison wants to share her pizza equally with her friend. Alison divides her pizza equally between two. Alison has one half. Beck has one half. This is represented as one over two. Let's talk a little bit more about this. What do the numbers mean? Our bottom number shows total number of parts. And our top number shows us how many parts we are talking about. Let's go back to our original example. Alison is having pizza. How many pieces or parts are they all together? One, two. There are two parts to this whole. Alison eats one part. This represents a half. To use the correct mathematical language, our bottom number is our denominator and our top number is our numerator. Now I need your help. Which represents half? Number one or number two? Remember with half, our denominator has two parts, our numerator has one. Number one represents half, but why? Remember, our bottom number is total number of parts. Or as we call it, our denominator. Let's count our number of parts. One, two. There are two parts all together. Now our top number shows how many parts we are talking about. And we're talking about the shaded part. Or as we call it, our numerator. Let's count how many parts are shaded. One part of the two is shaded. This represents a half. Which shows a quarter, number one or number two? Number two shows a quarter, but why? Let's count our denominator. Let's count how many parts there are all together. One, two, three, four. There are four parts all together. Let's have a look at our numerator. How many parts are shaded? One. This represents a quarter. Can you draw these shapes? Can you shade the first two in half and shade the second two in quarters? Upload to Seesaw so your teacher can see. Good luck, guys.